And over it comes. Good bit of defending. Crossing into the middle. Able to deal with the threat. And no more time. And the ball is rolling again. Leipzig have left themselves with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? That's a good-looking ball. He read it well, but still work to do. Icoma Luis Openda. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Beards. Oh, a really tidy break, but a really shoddy finish. Well, they're so dangerous when they counter-attack. It just needed a better end product. Openda. Simons. And Leverkusen with the ball once more. Schick. Excellent strike! Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Icoma Luis Openda. Schlager. Paulson. Oh, in position. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Oh, he's gone for goal. And saved by the keeper. So the corner played into the box. High pressing and good high pressing. That's excellent defending following the cross. David Raum. Getting in there to intercept. And a fine cross. Very much a run of the mill as saves go. Simmons. Wasteful from Leipzig. And playing it through. And Patrick Schick now. That's a routine take. That's a good ball. And the keeper more than equal to it. Schlager. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Was it a great clearance? Beautiful pass. It comes to nothing in the end. And Leipzig come away with it. Good use of advantage there. Paulsen. Jeremy Frimpong. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. 20 minutes remaining. Oh, he's given the ball away. Schlager. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. And beyond the last defender, offside. Nicoma Luis Openda. Haidara. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. And running it back. Andri. Cheek. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Openda, a really good pass, oh nice ball over the top to Chase, 
And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Now they fancy a short one. Now the cut back. Can he finish? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Oh, this is looking promising. Took a nick on the way through, so a corner here. Well, the counter chance looks very real. A oh, good vision there. A oh, wonderful counter-attacking football. Just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Incisive pass. Powerson. Oh, might be. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. In a dangerous position. Well, this could really help the cause. Danny Olmo. Possession seeded by Leipzig. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Such an important goalkeeping inter... And that will be that. They referee... Eric, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Two giants of football going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Hello and welcome to Dortmund's Signal Iduna Park. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And we've got a Bundesliga game for you on the way. It's Borussia Dortmund and they take on Leipzig. Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot take the game to the opposition and an what a stop razor shot oh talk about reactions how good were his then it's such close range that's a brilliant save well he's head to it but couldn't keep the effort down away it goes Schlager this is a positive looking move that's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. This is how Borussia Dortmund line up. Gregor Kerbel stands between the posts. Niklas Zula plays alongside Nico Schlotterbeck as centre-backs. Marcel Sabitzer starts alongside Emre Chan in the centre of the park. And they're playing with just one up front. Great chance here. No problem at all in keeping that one out. unable to retain possession Yusuf Poulsen Danny 
Olmo. The effort shut out. They decide against putting it in. Brown. Mohamed Simakan. Openda. This is great to see and now needs an end product. And this could be. It's 1-0. The first blow struck very early. Nicholas Sula. Now Schlotterbeck. ball now what can they do with it they need to be better on the ball than that Anadu Haidara Benjamin Henricks and that's a foul and a free kick Danny Olmo Chavez Schlager. Amadou Haidara. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Daniel Marlon. This is Brandt. Looking to put the cross in. Sancho promising looking ball a bit sloppy in possession that has missed needs to reset in time for the next chance Schlager Danny Olmo Dortmund come away with it put into the box Need to get tighter here. And possession given away. That's not a bad looking ball. Good cross into the middle. And it's cleared away from goal. All back with Dortmund now. Well, with half time approaching, the bulk of the crowd won't be happy with how things stand. We've got work to do here. Yeah, it's been a close first half. A few things I'm sure they'll look to reflect on at half-time. Maybe a bit more movement off the ball and making sure the first of those second balls. But they'll be positive they can get something from this. Openda. Poulsen. That has been carelessly given away. Schlager. Marlon. Good work to recover possession. Beautifully weighted ball. And away it goes. Oh, excellent vision. 
and they've scored. Second best no longer. It's level again. Well, little to choose between the two sides as we start the second half. Be Leipzig's throw in. Haidara. Poulsen. Danny Olmo. Oh, nice vision in that pass. Now it needs a good ball in. It's on for the shot. But it's only resulted in a fairly routine save. Julian Brandt. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Well, he kept playing until the final whistle, and there's no finer time to score. He'll just be hoping that he can carry that momentum into the second half now. Fantastic looking ball. It's offside, and that will be that. Mohamed Simakan. Orban. Amadou Haidara. Lois Openda. Haidara. Now there could be a real chance developing, but able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. Can. A chance now for a quick transition. Well, it looked so promising, but it's come to nothing. Nicely played. And stopped in their tracks. Well watched. Firm in the tackle. It'll be a throw. Very quick to close down. Read the pass well and cuts it out. Play continues as the ref lets that go. And they need to be better on the ball than that. Mohamed Simakan. Openda. Could be something on. Found nicely and in. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, the atmosphere is loud in here. The fans are doing all they can to urge the team on. They should be winning this. Now there could be a chance to counter. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? And this could be a body in the way. David Rao. A bit sloppy in possession. Marlen. Going to try his luck. Brilliant work by the man in goal. That's a top stop. If you listen to that, they're really getting behind their team. And I'm sure they sent the goals coming here. Brandt. There's the flag. Outside. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Unable to find anyone with that. There could be trouble now.
working hard to win it back there. Sabitza. Tying his luck. Save, but not clear. Oh, great block. Well, they're certainly celebrating that bit of defending like it was a goal. It just shows how crucial it was. Could be a chance. It's in, and it might well be the winning goal. Amadou Haidara. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Dortmund finding space on the flank. And played in deep, back post. But that hasn't worked as planned, claimed by the keeper. Well, that's how to clear it. Danny Olmo. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. that a late equaliser could be on the cards but that's where any chance of anything developing disappears and the flag's up offside well he just gets caught ball watching needs to be more alive you've got to work harder to stay onside Emre Chan a decent move looked to be building but that's it for now There is the final whistle. Really pushing in the end and all that hard work paid off. Always feels great to win so late on. You've got to praise the character and the fitness levels too. It's a great result that. Two teams here in Germany with very different traditions, but when they lock horns on the pitch, the sparks tend to fly. Der Klassiker coming up. And hello from the Strobel Allee. We find ourselves at the Signal Iduna Park. It's for Hussia Dortmund against Bayern, a game of real residence here in Germany. Derek Ray here on the commentary gantry, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a really close game today. This is a rivalry that's been really good in recent times. Yes, Bayern have dominated, but on their day, Dortmund can outplay anybody, particularly in this wonderful arena. Oh, genuine chance, and still danger here. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Harry Kane. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And here's the 11 for Bohusia Dortmund. Marcel Zabitzer plays alongside Emre Can in the centre of midfield. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Joshua Kimmich starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leroy Zane plays with Thomas Müller out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane.
Danger. Now with Zalita. Still a chance. But no, it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Kane. Very quick thinking there. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Bayern pushing forward with options available. And sent in by Sané. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Well read to put an end to that attack. Leroy Zane. And they need to get tighter. Is it going to be? No way through. And over it comes. Not getting a strong fist on the ball. Zane. He fancies it. Foiling his opponent completely. No high quality defending. Clears it away. Sane. Options in the centre. Kane. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Bayern have completely controlled the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make oh, it Oh, big chance here. And it's in. 1-0. They've breached the defence. Riosson. On to Zulu. Nico Schlotterbeck. Marcel Zabitza. And a strong tackle. Marcel Zabitza, an encouraging move from Dortmund, but the danger averted for now. This could be the equaliser. He can't hold on to it. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Delete. This is Müller. Bayern have given it away. A oh, tremendous vision. Not messing around with that clearance. Emily Chan has given it away. And the cross goes in. And Dortmund have the ball again. Brandt. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. De Ligt. Well, a swift challenge and a throw-in coming up. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Matson. Nico Schlotterbeck. Determined defending. Julian Riosson. 
Here's Phil Krug. Oh, what a top notch pass! The referee's whistle. Well, they get the second half going here. Borussia Dortmund in front and hoping to build upon what was a largely positive showing in the first half. And defensive play to be applauded. Musiala. Madsen. Schlotterbeck. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Must be! Tremendously strong in the tackle. Throw in here for Borussia Dortmund. Good weight on that pass. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, a lot to like about Marcel Zabica and his first half showing. What did you make of it, Stuart? Well, Derek, after a slow start when it was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. Müller. a big chance and really he should have taken that but let's give credit to the goalkeeper it's a decent save Sancho and with that the attack fizzles out Marlin Schlotterbeck Sancho and easily intercepted 30 minutes to go then. Can they square the game? Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal! Really good strong tackle, and it'll be a throw-in. Madsen. The ball with Zabitza. That's a high-quality pass. Does have pressure to deal with. Top class defending. Now well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Zavica. On to Sancho. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Zabica and a good looking ball and putting pay to the danger. Unable to trouble the defense with that cross. Twenty minutes to go. Bayern have given it away. Niklas Zule, Brandt with it. Leroy Zane is in. And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. Has a go. Great defending. the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there and both hands on it good goalkeeping Sané given away by Bayern Munich a 
And Kane comes into the move. Good looking attack, this. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Schlotterbeck. Well, very nearly at full time, and it's Dortmund with a marginal advantage in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expensive football and had the better individuals. Have well, they might score here, Stuart. And it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Okay. Bayern have given it away. Decent looking pass. And it's played into the center. And clears the danger. Madsen. And the pass, a good one. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Just wanted to get it out of there. And we will have just one additional minute. Sané. Goretzka. They had to react and did. And that will be that. The rest... They weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we... Hello, and welcome to the Zignal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Stuttgart. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Emre Can starts alongside Marcel Zabitza in the centre of midfield. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. And so the Stuttgart starting 11. Well, they're using the same shape. So this comes down to who plays it better. And who gets better support to their front striker. It should be a good tactical battle. Maximilian Mittelstedt. I must say, this looks promising. It's there for him. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. That's a good ball. Now, will the cross work out for them? Couldn't quite hang on. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. 
Ospina. And the ball is with Girassi. Angelo Stiller. And the defensive intervention there. Well, Jaden Sancho can be Mr. Unpredictable, capable of doing things most players wouldn't dare to try. What might we see from him today? Well, Derek, he can go past people with pace, he can get to the byline, but it's his ability to stand the ball up to the far post that makes him such an outstanding player. And if he gets crosses in today, I'm sure he'll win the game for his team. Atakan Karazor. And Dortmund doing well to regain possession. Daniel Malen. And he has options available. Oh, great attacking play. He's got to score! And fired against the crossbar. Who can he pick at? And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Niklas Zule. Daniel Malen. Good looking ball. Malen. And a significant block following that cross. Brandt. In it goes! The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Angelo Stiller. And it's with Mittelstedt. Ito. Atakan Karazor on to Silas Stiller now what can they do from here genuine chance and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save so the corner played into the box not the result from the set piece they were looking for oh dear well that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory well he had a go there nothing wrong with that but he's got that all wrong Niklas Zule. Malen. Zule. Still ahead by a goal and moving the ball with purpose. Brandt. Atakan Karazor. Chris Fury. Girassi. And a struggle for Stuttgart to keep the ball here. Fury. Atakan Karazor. The defenders, though, no, you can't really allow space like that. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And space to cross it. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Hul Krug. A lot of space afforded Borussia Dortmund. But they took care of the situation defensively. Schiller. And it's with Mittelstedt. Oh, danger here. Could be. And it's in. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Schlotterbeck. And that will be a Dortmund ball. Cut back, takes aim, and diving to thwart him. 
taken short. He's played us over to the near post. And with that... The second half restart here at the home of Borussia Dortmund. Ball looks promising, and that is offside. Oh, yes, what a pass! Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvelous defending and tremendous individual skill. Oh, nice ball. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Did well to win the ball back. Karazor. And a good-looking ball. Teammate available. Oh, a smart stop. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal-mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. Well, I'm not sure the keeper particularly wanted that, but danger averted for now. Valdemar Anton Ito Silas A bit of running room now on the wing And a good looking ball Pressure applied, can they make something of it? Ito breaks down but credit to the defence and passing it through not going to get away with that because it's offside here and he shouldn't be offside there he's gone too early and that's a waste of a great opportunity a real opening now and the post gets in the way not to be Niklas Zule Madsen Oh, great vision. This looks more than decent. Well, maybe I wrote him off too quickly. Good defending in the end. Silas. And it's with Wagnerman. Karazor. Well, Stuttgart unable to retain possession. Julian Rioson. Brandt. Now with Jan. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Now perhaps they can counter from here. And he takes it on. And keeping it out. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it might still work out for them. Read it well, cleared it well. Girassi. Atakan Karazor. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! This Fury. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. 
Julian Rioson. Emre Can now. Niklas Zule. And forward they go, chasing the game. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Brandt. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Opportunity. Brilliant save. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Daniel Malen. Stuttgart doing well to regain possession. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. And nicely over the top. Find a pocket of space. Happy to take on the shot. And no problems at all for the keeper. And that will do it. The referee... They were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough. They dominated midfield. And they created chances as well. It was a great performance. All eyes on Julian Brandt. Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people. And welcome to one of the most football-crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We are in Dortmund, famed, of course, for the famous Yellow Wall. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Emre Can plays alongside Marcel Zabitza in the centre of midfield. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. Plattered away. Rioson. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. A really good pass. Brandt! He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! In Cartier. 
Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Daniel Malen. Really bright looking attack. Grant! And the keeper getting across to stop it. He has time to play it over. Well, the cross was deep, a little too deep. That'll be a Leverkusen ball. Grimaldo. Really good challenge. Marlin. And the goal won't stand. Offside the decision. Well, that was always going to be brought back. It was a decent effort, though. Frimpong. Odilon Kusunu. Cheek. He'll take this on. My goodness, that save. Molly stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. No nonsense piece of defending. It's looking promising. Might be onto something with that ball. And a no nonsense clearance. Grimaldo. Oh, good vision. And counting through. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Zulu. Emre Jan now. Well timed tackle. Andri. Might work out. Emre Can. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. Leverkusen struggling to keep the ball. Could be dangerous. Wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Brilliant piece of skill. Julian Rioson. And diving to thwart him. Favouring the short one. And there's the feed into the box. Given away by Leverkusen. But well, attacking possibilities. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Zulu. Well, that ball looks promising. Sancho. Ian Madsen. Now can he get on the end of this one? And cleared off the line. Oh, he saved it well. Schick. That's a good-looking ball. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Sancho. Could really get at the opposition. Grant. And nothing comes of that attack. Hoffman. Trying to open them up. And there is the goal to re establish their advantage. <laughs> Niklas Zule. Nicely cut out.
And that is going. The second half restart here at the home of Borussia Dortmund. Marcel Zabitza. Nico Schlotterbeck. Ian Matson. Excellent defending. Schick. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. That's a lovely ball. Real chance. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. Madsen. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too is causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And a throw-in coming up for Leverkusen. And running it back. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. And the keeper didn't have too much time. Oh yes, what a pass. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager and that's why he's offside. Oh, great vision. Well, that's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. Nicely saved. Andy. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. What to like about that pass? Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? And just like that, it's gone in! Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level. <laughs> Moving forward effectively. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, that's the sign of a well-organized defense. Schlotterbeck. Riosson. Malen with it. And that ball looks promising. Can he put them in front? Florian Wirtz. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Well, what a stop that was. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Chance to do damage. And the ball in behind the defenders. He's blocked it. Schick. And given away by Leverkusen. Daniel Malen. And Leverkusen with the ball once more. And the decision offside here. Daniel Malen. Now with Zule. Schlotterbeck. That's a well struck pass. Jaden Sancho. An attack full of promise. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Chan. 
Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Really good challenge. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Riasson. Emre Can now. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? Magnificent defending. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Marcel Zabitza. Can he find the net? Tremendous block. And that'll be a Dortmund throw-in. Julian Riosson could cross it in here. And simply couldn't beat the first defender. Late in the game, a corner to Dortmund. Zabitza. Sancho now. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Determined defending. And the referee blows. Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all... Hello and welcome to the Red Bull Arena Leipzig in the beautiful state of Saxony, Eastern Germany. Guy Mowbray here for commentary with Sue Smith alongside me. And we've got live Bundesliga action on the way. It's Leipzig and they face Bayer Leverkusen. Well, thanks as always, Guy. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's been buzzing ahead of kickoff. Let's hope the football lives up to the atmosphere. This is the Leipzig lineup. Yeah, it looks like a 4 4 2, and I always think that this system offers a strong defensive presence all over the pitch. And in attack, you always have numbers getting forward. They've got quality out wide, so I'm sure the flanks are going to be used today. Keeper has done really well to keep the header out. A move of real promise developing, and that's where it ends. And that has stopped any potential danger. That looks a really good ball. 
timing, technique, a terrific way to score. Simakan. David Brown. Orban. Schlager. Just waiting for the moment to break through. Schlager. And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. And they go short with the corner. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. Looking to cut inside. In the right position to cut out the pass. Poulsen. They're not getting close enough here. Well, a chance might have developed, but not now. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Safe, but not clear. It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. Well, that was such an important save. Trying to claw back a two-goal deficit would have been so difficult. Maybe a turning point in the game. Hoffman. Genuine chance. Oh, cheeky attempt. It's back off the bar. Oh, that is extraordinary. True athleticism to make contact like that. One of the finest goals you'll see all season. Jeremy Frimpong. Promising looking ball. Great chance here. And it's gone behind for a corner. Delivered into the box. And well, that's how to clear it. Ball taken away from them. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Super try and almost a super goal. It was, and it's a difficult technique, and he just makes it look easy. Great body position, nice hit. Just unlucky that he can't finish. They're drifting into a useful position here. Well, that's as easy as it gets for a goalkeeper. Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. Fantastic looking ball. I don't know how he didn't score. Great defending. Well, half-time is approaching Sue. And it's not gone well for them. The crowd might make their feelings clear about how this is going when the whistle goes. They have looked really off it today. The back line need to tighten up and switch on if they're going to get themselves back into this. A big team talk need. Oh, a great chance. Kept out, but for how long? Oh, dear. That's a really disappointing offside for them. Not even close. Jonathan Tarr. Frimpong. Well, can he get onto this? But it won't come to anything because it's offside. Well, he's a bit keen, isn't he? You can see he's trying to run him beyond quickly, but you've got to time your run better. That's not a good pass. It's easily been cut out. Hoffman. What a chance. Terrific. Another goal. What a scoreline this is for them. David Brown. Danny Olmo. A little careless there as the ball changes hands.
Lager. Can't get it through this time. And that's going to be all. And the game restarts. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. A really good interception to take the ball. Danny Olmo. Well, he's put in a thoroughly dominant display so Neither far. Two on goal. And there's the whistle. It's a penalty. To make it 4-0. And they have paid the penalty. It's been dispatched. So the lead now 4-0 as the game restarts. Working hard to win it back there. Oh, excellent vision. And the whistle goes. Free kick awarded. Assistant spotting a touch there, it'll be a throw. Poulsen. Brown. And that's where it ends with possession lost. This has to be. And two becomes three as he completes his hat trick. A superb performance. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. Has to be. Oh, that's brilliant. Read the pass superbly. Verts. Frimpong. It's on for the shot. Oh, it was a why not moment that, and he wasn't far away. Well, he's certainly full of confidence to attempt a shot from there, and it's really close to going in. Vili Orban. Some good work to win it there. Poulsen. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. That's been viewed as a foul. A free kick's awarded. Beautifully weighted ball. No time to dwell on the ball. Switched on and ready to intercept there. Good ball in behind. Verts. Could be a chance to break here. Nicely played. Oh, that's fabulous from the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is. What a fantastic save that is. He shows great power and agility to get to it. Certainly one for the show reel. Danny Olmo. Lois Openda. Danny Olmo. 
And he's being urged to shoot and ready for it coming his way. Played towards the edge of the penalty area. Oh, great block. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Danny Olmo. They've given it away here. Well, full time is approaching and the crowd will almost certainly make their feelings clear about this when the whistle goes. This just hasn't been good enough. They've looked disorganised all over the pitch. No pressing from the front, which then has a knock-on effect throughout the team. Huge improvements are needed for the next game. Brown. Schlager. No way through with that. Robert Andrich. Jonas Hoffman. Counter attack coming, away they go. On he goes, terrific. And over the byline it goes, it'll be a corner now. Well, that's how to clear it. And it's a wild, wild attempt from range. Not one for the highlights. Oh, it's a poor choice. He's got other options on. Why is he shooting from that sort of distance? Schlager. Yusuf Poulsen. And the referee brings the game to a close real competitive game and sometimes it's just about staying in it weren't at the very best but they nicked the result against the runner play so they'll be happy with that i'm sure The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. You're in Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's RB Leipzig facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two balls who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Marcel Zavica plays alongside. My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? Oh, a glorious save by the keeper. And nothing wrong with that free kick either. 
substitution it is for Dortmund. Aydara. Can they forge ahead? And he's in an offside position. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-two, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Well, for Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. Beautiful pass. Well, there's defensive solidity for you. Paulsen, Leipzig pushing forward with options available. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Julian Rioson, good run, very much in control of the situation. He simply couldn't beat the first defender. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Oh, keeper dealt with it. easily intercepted Rioson decent looking pass and in the right position to read it Magnificent pass. Takes the shot. Off the post and back in play. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. There it is. Down to ten men, but don't wipe them off just yet. The opening goal. One nil. Amadou Haidara. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Marcel Zabitza. Good move in the making from Leipzig. This could level it. Max Hummels with that important block. Marcel Zabitza. Let's see if something comes of this. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Paulsen. On the ball, Schlager. Could be dangerous. Just needs to steady himself. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Schlager. Daddy Raum. Now with Orban. Well, how close was that? It was such a good effort. But Leipzig are still trailing here. Chance to equalise. And the keeper more than equal to it. Jaden Sancho. Well, Dortmund have it back now. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Zabica. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Real chance. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Julian Rioson, promising pass, good ball over the top. Jaden Sancho. Opportunity! Oh, fine stop! And they 
fancy a short one. Cutting the ball back. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Danny Olmo. Openda. Not well, made it look routine, but read it well. And that is going to... And the ball is moving again. Work to do for Leipzig in the second half. And providing width. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. He'll be delighted. Oh, the penalty's been given. And it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. And he puts it away confidently. So the ball rolling again. And 2-0. Danny Olmo. Well, that one has promise. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Just knocked it out of there. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No one's stopping him, apparently. Paulsen. David Raum. On to Orban. Haidara. And Borussia Dortmund come away with it. And plenty of space for this Dortmund attack. Is it going to be? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. The pass deftly cut out. And it's gone out of play for the Dortmund throw in. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Fulkrug. And he takes it on. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Corner coming up for Dortmund. Daniel Malen. Determined defending. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Paulsen. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Can they convert? There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Hummers. Ian Madsen. Wasteful from Leipzig. Phil Krug. Zabita, real chance. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. And whipped into the box. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Well, those stats tell you everything. Dortmund have been excellent, and unless something changes, this could get embarrassing. And pressing from the front. Lovely ball over the top. 
Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Advantage, Borussia Dortmund. Can he put it away? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Danny Olmo. Raul. Danny Olmo with it. Showing ambition. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Now there to intercept. Orban. Openda. Ten minutes left for play. Marlin. And Leipzig with the ball again. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Well, letting it continue to see if, in fact, there was an advantage, but not so. Free kick. And that will be the keeper's ball. Lager. Openda. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Emery Chan has given it away. Decent looking pass. And nothing comes of this attack. Gives it a go. Still alive. Well, no damage done. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And there goes the final win. That just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it. And this should be something special on the pitch. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Brandt. Return to Zabitzer. Brandt. On to Zabitzer. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Joshua Kimmich starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Thomas Müller starts with Leroy. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Skipping away. Jadon Sancho. Now the cutback. A good and fair challenge. Kane. 
Now with Zule. Nicely timed tackle. Sancho. They could nudge in front. Can they keep it out? And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Grant played into the centre. Magnificent defending. And deciding to go short with this one. And he takes it on. Excellent block. Brandt. Now with Jan. Now with Zule. Emre Jan. Zabica. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Sancho. Kane on the move and a goal an end to end game and they weren't behind for long Thomas Müller Bayern pushing forward with options available Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Marcel Zabitza. And given away by Dortmund. Good pass. Oh, yes, what a pass. And a simple clearance, a good one. And intercepts again. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Brandt. Could be threatening. Sané. The ball with Zabitza. Feeding it through. Now, will they do it from here? Well, he stormed through, but it didn't end well for him. Well, in those situations, you have to make a few decisions. Unfortunately, he's made the wrong one. Joshua Kimmich. And over the touchline for what will be a Dortmund throw. Marcel Zabitza. Well, Bayern have it back now. Clean challenge. Müller, real chance, crucial intervention just then, and made impending danger. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Delivering it. And really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Niklas Zule, Julian Rioson. Now with Zule. Well, when you have the lead, you can play in this manner, keeping the ball like this. Well, almost at half-time here, and a story of Bayern behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first half? Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening, but they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. Sancho 
on to Zavica. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Round the back. Challenge has been thrown down to Bayern Munich. Can they turn this match on its head? Kimmich. Kane. It's a perfect challenge. Ian Madsen. Oh, tremendous vision. Oh, might be. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And the Schwarz-Gelben pushing to add to their advantage. It'll be a corner. Brandt. And offside it is. Eric Dyer. Bayern struggling to keep possession. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too is causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And a tidy tackle. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Sancho distributing it well. High quality defending. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Müller. Oh, fancy footwork. Cuts it back. A gift for any goalkeeper. Daniel Malin. And Bayern able to win the ball back. He's found a pocket of space. Can he get them level? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Daniel Malin. And a timely intervention. Julian Rioson. Sloppy from Sané. Now with Kane. Kane! Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Sancho. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, the noise these Bayern fans are making is incredible. The players just need to respond with a goal now. Müller. And given away by Dortmund. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Ian Madsen. Grant might be a chance here and rattling the post and taken away he won the ball must score oh and it goes now he has his hat-trick a special
special moment for him. Leroy Zane. It's looking promising. And a very good challenge. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Can he get one back? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Can they use their pace? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Well, in the closing phase of the game, and not a very happy day for Bayern. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Thomas Müller. Getting forward well here, Müller. Cutting it back. And blocking from Zule. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Marlin. And thwarted there, following the cross. And a good take under duress there. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Oh, it might be. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And there it is, the final whistle. Picture of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Top players on a fitting stage. That's what we're talking about. A match of colossal importance and one that has captured the imagination. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Stuttgart facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Emre Can plays alongside Marcel Zabitza in the centre of midfield. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. I must say, this looks promising. Atakan Karazor. Girassi. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Can someone get on the end of this? And the ball is loose. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. Karazor. Oh, 
Stuttgart having trouble holding on to the ball. Dortmund have the ball again and moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here can he apply the finish well he must get rid of the ball and support available Nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. That's a good-looking ball. Making sure nothing came of it. Angelo Stiller. Chris Fury. Trying his luck. Oh, a superb save. Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. That's a lovely ball. Excellent strike. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. To jump in front. Can he convert? And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener. And now they have it. Rierson. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Stille. Atakan Karazor. And it's with Mittelstedt. Oh, a tremendous block. Still could put it away. Ian Madsen. Rierson. Decent looking pass. Marlin. And defensive play to be applauded. Stiller. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Karazor. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Play towards the back post. Struggling to get it away. Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, chance taken! There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Niklas Zule, Ian Madsen, an encouraging move from Dortmund, but timely defending when it mattered. Brandt, referee's whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And giving them too much space on the flank. Oh, 
High quality defending. Niklas Zule. Teammates available. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. And he read it well. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. It certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Schlotterbeck. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. He's in an offside position. 30 minutes to go then. Angelo Stiller. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. Madsen. Sancho now. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And the referee says, corner kick. Well, they fancy a short one. Zabica. Excellent strike. Oh, tremendous goal. A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Hiroki Ito. Atakan Karazor and nicely over the top and coolly done in the end a bit wasteful from Stuttgart Twenty minutes to go. And the cross goes in. And Dortmund doing well to regain possession. Well, that was incisive. Zabica. On to Sancho. Chance to finish. Oh, it's in for Borussia Dortmund. It is going their way. Angelo Stiller Hiroki Ito Skipping away Oh, nice ball Jaden Sancho And a threatening looking ball. And a good take under duress there. Chris Fury. Oh, great vision. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Emre Jan. Promising pass. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Run. 
Mount. Now with Jan. Jaden Sancho. And the ball back with Stuttgart. Girassi. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Could pull one back here. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Well, Stuttgart unable to retain possession. Now the counter-attack looks on. But quick thinking defensively. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Big chance! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And that will be that. The referee brings this match to an end. And maximum points for Borussia. They were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining. And a, a warm welcome to you from Leverkusen's Bay Arena. My name's Guy Mowbray. Sue Smith is alongside me for commentary. And we've got live Bundesliga action on the way. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers will be reminding them, remember what you need to focus on and block out all of that noise. There could be something building for Dortmund here. Genuine chance, and there it is! 1-0 already! And the game restarts with the score 1-0. Odilon Kosunu from a long way out and it's hit the bar and away they've got it clear well if that went in the game would have definitely had a different complexion just wondered if we're going to see a response now we certainly need one Brandt. Schick. And that has stopped any potential danger. Full crook. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? He'll try his luck. And it's a great goal. He couldn't have met that any better. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Good 
be a chance. Oh, seeking his second goal, but the keeper stops it. He's certainly been bright, getting himself into good positions on a regular basis, but this time the keeper's equal to him. Verts. He's given it. Penalty. To get back in this. And still danger here. It was looking good, but there it's ended. Schlotterbeck. Now with Schlotterbeck. Turn around in possession. Excellent positioning. Dortmund have possession again. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Chan. Malen. Space now to get a crossover. Chan. Decent move, look to be building, but that's it for now. Sancho. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Chan. And able to come away with the ball. Malen. Has to be. The effort shut out. Wurz. Dortmund have the ball back now. That's not a bad looking ball. Jaden Sancho. It's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Well, not long to go until the break. And the score tells the story. The hosts clearly second best in this first half. Yeah, they've struggled a little bit, haven't they? They just look a bit off the pace today. Defensively all over the show. And they are really struggling to contain the front line. Has to be a drastic improvement in the second half. Sula. Fantastic looking ball. Sabitzer. And that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. And they need to be better on the ball than that. Found nicely and in. It's in. Oh, they needed that. And they're not out of this game yet. Good work to regain possession. Edging ever closer to goal here. Puts it back. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. And that brings... So away we go then for the second half. And it's quickly stopped. Schick. Found nicely and in. 
and they've scored a goal to get the stadium jumping. Beautifully weighted ball. Allowed to go a long way with this. Granit Xhaka. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Sula. Well, as long as they keep the ball, they win the game. Nicholas Sula. Sabitzer. Great chance here. Now, this could be costly. of real promise now and he's hit that from miles out oh it was a pretty good effort oh, I thought that was going to be the equaliser there it wasn't far away not a bad attempt that guy Emre Chan really nicely played what can they do with this now Milan already leading by one and they press home their advantage from this corner Grant. Good patient build up, but not quite the end product. Marcel Sabitza. Jonas Hoffman. Pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Brandt. Marcel Sabitza. Beaten easily here. Well, they wouldn't let him get away that easily. Jonas Hoffman. A chance now for a quick transition. Chance to cross here. That's a nice cutback. And the flag's up. Offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching. Needs to be more alive. You've got to work harder to stay onside. And the flag's up. Offside the call. That's not a bad looking ball. Sabitzer. Brilliant work by the man in goal. That's a top stop. Grant. Crucial defending. Could be a chance to break here. Kick. Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank and delivered into the middle well actually just a little too close to the keeper he'll happily take that lovely ball could be a chance but it won't count for anything the offside flags up yeah it is and he just delays the pass for far too long got to give it sooner Grant and the shot thwarted Keeper has only succeeded in giving the ball away. Chan. What a chance! And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Sabitza. 
Switched on and ready to intercept that. Options available in the middle. And they'll be able to get it away now with a goal kick. As the stats show, Dortmund are controlling possession over the last 15 minutes. They're creating chances as well, and you just think if they score another, there's no coming back for the opposition. Julian Brandt. Well, can he get onto this? What a chance here! And that one is got away. Lost it now. Well, as soon as they won the ball back, there was an almighty roar. The fans are trying to push the team forward and get an equaliser. Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? And it's on now. Great defending. Well, that brings the match to certainly not their best performance was it just a little off the pace for me obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is that they bounce back now as they can't afford a repeat next time out This is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago. And... Hello, wherever you happen to be, welcome to Catalonia, welcome to Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Barcelona facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such... Oh, surely! And still danger here! Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Jadon Sancho. And even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. And over comes the corner. And knocked out of there. And passing it well. Being egged on by the crowd. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. Well, Joao Felix is highly talented, and he has that unpredictable quality that makes him special. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques, he can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his... Brandt! Able to get his body in the way. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Did well to clear it away. Well, another corner, can they take advantage of this one? Oh, cleared away! Superb defending, massive credit! teammate and support well that's how to keep the opposition at bay
Decent looking pass. And Sonia on the volley. Well, he'd be frustrated with that finish. That was a big opportunity there. Emre Can loses out. A really good pass. And an effective clearance. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Marcel Zabitza. That's a good looking ball. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Speculative effort here. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Phil Krug. On the ball, Joao Felix. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. A very effective clearance. tackle Felix Gundogan it could be up for grabs across lacking guile and accuracy and given away by Dortmund Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Firing it towards goal! Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Daniel Malin. And fed forwards. Well, that's going to go down as offside. Well, he couldn't quite release it quickly enough, and the flag went up. Delightful pass. Oh, but he's done brilliantly to cut it out. Marcel Zabitza. And Borussia Dortmund could be onto something. And it might be marvellous anticipation. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. But the danger averted for now. Lewandowski. Good ball over the top. Got to it easily, the keeper. Kultrug. Marlin. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? They've lost the ball, Dortmund. Brandt. Crossing towards the far post. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. But they dealt with the threat first. Teammates available. Chance to equalise. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Played over. Well, the timing was good, but the attempt too high. Joao Felix. And we will have just one additional minute. And there it is.
And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. Determined defending. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. What a shot from miles out. Really close. Sweeping attacking play. Well, they just couldn't finish off what would have been a great goal on the counter-attack. Emre Can. Brandt with it. Julian Riosson. to take on the shot and saved by the keeper and pulled back Sancho chance here and that's it a goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here nice ball to switch the point of attack given away by Barcelona Frankie de Jong, Jules Koundé on the ball. Possession lost by Borussia Dortmund. Sancho. And Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, racing past his man, but a good piece of tidying up. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it fizzled out. He takes aim, and still an opportunity. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Well, the cross didn't get past the first defender. Giving it a try. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Well, as you can see, this has been a fairly open contest. Chances at both ends, plenty of good attack in play, and it's been really entertaining. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Davica. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Oh, he could finish. Still could be dangerous. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Good tackle. Really good build up, but no end product. Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage? A goal and it's out of this world! I don't think anyone expected that, not least the goalkeeper. And I have a feeling we'll be seeing that time and time again. Incredible! Oriol from Ayo. Here's Rafinha, and he's won the ball. Just 15 minutes remaining. Distributing it well. And taking it away. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, threat over for now. Lewandowski. That's a useful cross. Taking care of business defensively here. Well, the ball back with Dortmund now. Brandt. And playing it through. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. 
he's gone too early. Kunde, an alert intervention. Well, it's been a fairly tight battle out there, and the Barca fans are doing everything they can to drive their team over the line. What a finish we have here. Cuts it back. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. Well, not long to go now. Can Barcelona preserve the victory? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. And that'll be a Barca throw. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And that is all for us. There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this gargantuan clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on... Good evening, tonight the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Arsenal facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good... Real chance! Can they stop it going in? And a simple clearance, a good one. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the opportunity... Goalkeeping of the highest order! Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. Brandt. Arsenal doing well to regain possession. Will he play it in? Now space if he goes inside. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Could be threatening. Big chance! And danger still! Ambitious effort! And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Released it nicely. 
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Fulkrug. Beautiful pass. A lot of space afforded Borussia Dortmund. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Arsenal finding space on the wing. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And that's an important intervention. That's a good-looking ball. Krug. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, it's such an eye-catching series of passes. High-quality defending. And now can he keep calm? Oh, tremendous save! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Martinelli. How about the cross? Kai Havertz. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Dortmund with the ball once more. Jesus. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Zabica. On to Brandt. Smuggled away. Brandt. On to Sancho. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Jesus. In position. And the deflection means a corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Martinelli. Brilliantly blocked. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Making progress. Kai Havertz. Good piece of defending. Havertz. Oh, the threat is there. Oh, it's a terrific challenge. Oh, could be a chance. Surely now. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. William Saliba. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Can he put it in? He got a good palm on it. Well, good effective pressure. Martinelli. He continues his run. Will he find the net? Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Tidily play. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Excellent strike. Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. And there it is, the ref. So into the second half, and as far as Borussia Dortmund are concerned, it's all about bouncing back.
Martinelli. That's a good looking ball. Well, Dortmund have it back now. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Here's Havertz. Havertz. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Trying to open them up. And full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Daniel Malin. Advantage, Borussia Dortmund. Big chance to get them on terms. The Gunners have lost the ball. Zabica, now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Now can they counter clinically? Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Good use of advantage for Dortmund. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. So a half an hour remaining. Gabriel Jesus cuts it back. Well read to put an end to that attack. Marcinelli. Good distribution. He might yet finish. Davica. Real chance. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Short corner it is. Davica. Surely. Oh, good save. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. Effective pressure to regain possession. Oh, might be. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Declan Rice. Now with Jesus. William Saliba. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Did well to clear it away. Good tackle. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, they kept their shape defensively. Job done for now. Gabriel William Saliba well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half throw in here for Borussia Dortmund Marcel Zabica chasing this game desperate for a leveller this could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Havertz. Oh, great vision. 
and dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, it would have taken perfect technique from that sort of range, and that was less than perfect. Uh, not a good decision from him. That's a waste of possession there. Brandt. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. Delightful pass. Martinelli prepared to take on the shot and nearly extending the lead. Well, it wasn't quite the finish he was looking for. He just couldn't quite keep it on target. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And that is all. For... A man to watch. Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the... Good evening. Tonight, the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Arsenal facing Porto. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. And over the byline, goal kick coming up. Gabriel. Rice with it. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Wendell. Interception to snuff out the danger. Gabriel Jesus, big chance! Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover, splendid save. Now how about the short corner? Gabriel. And nothing comes of that attack. Good idea. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Joao Mario. Promising pass. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? 
could be. In it goes. But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. And they know they need to stop him. He's in here. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long. William Saliba. It's with Gabriel. Kai Havertz. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Gives it a go. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Porto doing well to regain possession. Bukayo Saka. Oh, the keeper meant still alive. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Can they create something from here? Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Well, possibilities in the centre. Must score. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Galeno. Evan Nilsson. And they stopped them in their tracks. Opportunity here. And he struck the post. Clears it away. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Well, it should boost their confidence. But they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Eva Nilsson. And in the right position to read it. Gabriel. Declan Rice. Fruitful looking attack. Genuine chance. Ball is loose. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Can they forge ahead? Marcinelli. A very timely interception. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Wasn't a great piece of passing. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Gabriel Jesus. The supporters want to see him have a go. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Martin Erdegaard. Jesus. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Havertz. Well, that's going to be all. Underway in the second half here at the home of Arsenal. He's got space. 
timely intervention. Great effort to keep that one in play. An encouraging Arsenal move, but quick thinking defensively. Wendell. A bit of running room now on the wing. Takes it on. In it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Gabriel. Now with Havertz. Well, that ball looks promising. Chance to cross. In a decent position now. Martinelli. Able to skip past his man. Cleared away. Pepe. What can they do from here? Must take the lead here. What an important piece of defending. Well, there's a time and a place for finesse. Maybe that was neither the time nor the place. Ben White. Arsenal have given it away. Could be. Couldn't quite hang on. What a commitment to defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it looks so promising, but it all comes to nothing. Pulls it back. Superbly read and executed. It has to be. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. And options in the centre. And reading it absolutely superbly. And that is how to win the ball high up the pitch. And cleared away. Good pass. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, maybe the equaliser. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And they fancy a short one. Tremendous block. Corner once more. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And Kai Havertz. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? They take it short. Cuts it back. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Nico Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Well, he's given it away. Ben White. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Opportunity. And a goal! He's doubled his double for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Really good strong tackle. And it'll be a throw in. Pepe. Really good attacking play. Wonderful chance. And up for grabs off the keeper. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. White Gabriel Gabriel Martinelli Arsenal have given it away
Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Managed to get it out of there. Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can Arsenal find a winning goal? Not long left now. Well, they still have designs on the win, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Galeno might be able to get in behind the defence and a clear foul but the referee letting the play flow well he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage and fired from the flank into the area and they deal with the threat this time can they forge ahead yes is the answer and that could be oh so important Declan Rice well, nicely cut out and a tidy ball they have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances and well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack Keeper did his job to begin with. So full time it is. The magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go. Good evening. Tonight, the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! And how about that for a save? Gabriel Jesus. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Nicolo Rovella. Good movement. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And it's Gabriel Jesus. It comes to nothing in the end. Luis Alberto.
Gendouzi to take the lead. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Playing it in. Now he must get it out of there. Safe pair of hands did his job. safety Luis Alberto and a timely intervention Pellegrini oh that one has promise Gabriel Jesus my goodness that save fully stretched he was one for his own highlights reel going short Martinelli firing it towards goal oh at one point on its flight it looked as though it might be going in well he wasn't afraid to have a go was he and you can see why that was so close to being a great goal Romagnoli Luis Alberto Casali Pellegrini Nicolo Rovella got in the way of it Gendouzi can he put them in front oh no he's missed the opportunity and they remain level well he just lacked composure there didn't he they should be ahead now Gabriel and here's Saliba Immobile having to shoot well that's really sound goalkeeping not letting the opposition have any scraps what to like about that pass Anderson has eyes for goal well it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end Gabriel Martinelli Gabriel Jesus and a simple clearance a good one Kiro Immobile and they couldn't keep possession Ben White well the cross didn't get past the first defender Hero Immobile and on to Marusic Marusic now he must favour the cross nicely timed tackle Marcinelli Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire oh great defending Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. William Saliba. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. And the whistle is... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Luca Pellegrini. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. keeper is happy the bar was there oh should have done so much better from there
Declan Rice. And in the perfect position to read it. Nicolo Rovella. Immobile. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Marusic. Electing to shoot. And it's in! 1-0! They've breached the defence! Havertz. And successfully cut out. Immobile. Can he find the net? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. Now plays with a positional sense that is second to none. A lot of space to attack. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. Might be able to produce from this position. Gendouzi. Arsenal regaining possession. And the shot. Stopped a certain goal. Well, attacking possibilities. Felipe Anderson. Great opportunity. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. Did well to win the ball back. Opportunity. Well, no danger now. Well, credit to the goalkeeper because that was a terrific save just to keep their two goal lead here. Felipe Anderson, very quick thinking there. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Martin Odegaard and an astute piece of defending Pellegrini oh good vision now will they do it from here a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it and nicely over the top Luca Pellegrini. Rovella. Pellegrini. Played into the box. And stopping the danger. Well, oh, good run this. Now what can he do with it? Luca Pellegrini. Ten minutes to go then. And he's in. That is a tackle and a half. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Now, this could be productive. Long way out, able to block it. 
Saka. And a good looking ball. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Felipe Anderson. Kai Havertz. Oh, nice ball. Arsenal have given it away. Marusic. Now, Felipe Anderson. The ball with Luis Alberto. Opportunity. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Could be a chance to break here. Arsenal are having trouble keeping the ball. The full time whistle and disappointment. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal. Good evening. Tonight the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham, and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Arsenal facing Barcelona. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. It's a perfect challenge. Ben White. He'll try his luck here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. Might take the lead. Keeper getting the touch. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And slipped through by Ilkay Gundogan. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? An effective challenge. Joao Felix. Chance to cross. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. And Barca's corner. No nonsense piece of defending.
Barcelona ceding possession. And that is how to beat your opponent. Gabriel Jesus. And Lewandowski running with the ball authoritatively. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Now in a more than decent position. Considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Havertz. Gabriel Martinelli. And fine work from Arsenal to win it back. And a tidy ball. Cutting it back. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Lewandowski. Joao Felix. Really good build up, but no end product. White. Oh, yes, what a pass. Nobody's picked up Gabriel Jesus. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Now, options are plenty. A oh, good vision there. Lewandowski. And the cross is immediately dealt with. Possession seeded by the Gunners. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Being pressed and pressed high. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Kai Havertz, good distribution, prevented the damage. And as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Yes, who knows, maybe another opportunity in the works for them. And the pass not finding its target. Chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well read to win possession back. William Saliba. Now with Havertz. And take it away. Gundogan. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position, but they dealt with the threat first. Martinelli. Chance to put them in front. In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead. The ball is moving once more, and not enough went to plan for Barca in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? Interception to snuff out the danger. And Barcelona have possession again. Rafinha getting forward he fancies it magnificent defending corner to Arsenal what can they do with this one going short 
giving them a different option by moving in field. Can they slot it home? Right over for now, it seems. Habits. Possession lost by Arsenal. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Well, that's the sign of a well-organised defence. Well, it was an eye-catching first-half performance by Gabriel Gilles. Can't miss, surely! Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Who can he pick out? And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. And he stopped them in their tracks. Kai Havertz. Gabriel Martinelli. And the ball in behind the defenders. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. So half an hour remaining. Can they do something positive? And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona are level. Declan Rice. It's with Gabriel. Oh, lovely ball. Ben White. A decisive clearance it was. Martinelli. Well, Barca have the ball once more. Rafinha. Just the clearance that was called for. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And nobody applying pressure. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. And slipped through beautifully. Well, that's going to go down as offside. Well, he couldn't quite release it quickly enough. And the flag went up. And cutting it out. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Trying to open them up. Well, no danger now. Corner kick awarded. Can Barcelona profit from it? Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Gabriel Martinelli. Could be. Just couldn't get it through. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front of this game. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Well, body in the way. Really good build-up, but no end product. Well, there's the pullback. Foiling his opponent completely. Havertz. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. And intercepted it. Ten minutes left for play. Now the counter-attack looks on. And a shooting chance for Lewandowski. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. And he takes it away. Lewandowski. And Barca exploiting the space on the wing. A fine reading of the situation. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. 
And level it is in the waning moments. Can Voss keep her getting the touch? And problem solved for now. Lewandowski. And that puts them in position. And the keeper taking charge of the situation. Declan Rice. Did well to win the ball back. Can they forge ahead? Oh my word, there's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Joao Felix. And there's the referee's whistle.
this is it. A can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans have this one circled on their calendars. Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Barcelona. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia. Can he put it in? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Trying to deliver it accurately. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Madsen. Schlotterbeck. Julian Rioson. Marlin. Could be dangerous. And a fine stop. Short corner. This looks promising. Zule. A very timely interception. Oh, yes, what a pass. And he's in. And in range. And putting pay to the danger. Matson. Well, he's given us away. Being egged on by the crowd. Can he take the chance? And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Brandt. Well, spot on with that challenge. Joao Cancelo. Marlin. Who can he pick out? Shot attempted. The save was a good one. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Joao Felix and Dortmund doing well to regain possession Jadon Sancho determined defending Brandt away by Barcelona and plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position how about the cross and with that the attack fizzles out Ian Madsen Sancho now Marcel Zabitza well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Rafinha. Barcelona losing possession here. Sancho. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Joao Cancelo. On to De Jong. Lewandowski. Oh, good looking run. And nicely struck. Well, I'm 
must admit it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Daniel Malin. And quick thinking defensively. Can they create something? So nearly at half-time, not quite, but Borussia Dortmund finding themselves behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, how would you sum up what you've seen from them in this game so far? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Gundogan. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And Barca exploiting the space on the wing. And there they... Into the second half then, with Borussia Dortmund trailing, can they summon the right response? Now winning back possession. Barcelona free kick, it'll be here. Well, I must say, no shortage of space for Barcelona. Well, going for the bicycle kick special, and he didn't miss by much. Well, what a goal that would have been. That was a brilliant bit of skill. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Barca maintain possession, advantage. And Lewandowski waiting. It comes to nothing in the end. He has teammates around him. Well, disappointing end to the move. Jaden Sancho. Marcel Zabitza. Sancho now. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Well, then the one that fails to hit its target. Might be a chance to break. And clears his lines. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. So half an hour remaining. Promising pass. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Couldn't quite find his teammate. Might be able to set up the chance. But they're not being allowed to continue. It's offside. Well, he had the vision to pick out the pass, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. Christensen. Joao Felix. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back.
That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And in the perfect position to read it. Lewandowski. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And Dortmund come away with it. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Good vision, can he get onto this? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Over it comes, and efficient defending. They might be able to get in now. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Being egged on by the crowd. Couldn't grab hold of it. Marvellous anticipation. And defensive play to be applauded. Dortmund have the ball again. Well, this game is far from over. They'll probably get one more... Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And a goal to level it up late on here! Just look at the reaction! And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? Fine cross into the middle, not messing around with that clearance. An encouraging move from Barca, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Could be threatening. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. He spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw in coming up. Good work from Barca to make sure possession changed hands. And still pressing for a goal here. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, he has the measure of his man. And the flag has gone up offside. Schlotterbeck. Now with Zule. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Phil Krug. Run it superbly to take back possession. Full time then. And the up.
That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is... Oh! France. Super tackle and they've won possession. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, disappointing end to the move. Good example of pressing without the ball. Ben White. an interesting pass and it's opening up that was going in Arsenal have given it away it's a good Dortmund move in the making textbook defending inside the box lots of space for Arsenal well, that was off the cusp of saying he's at it again. Look as though he might score again. Well, he's certainly looking sharp today. That could easily have been his second there. Gabriel. It's with Erdogan. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? Incisive pass. And he's in the clear. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal have given it away. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Emre Can. And quick thinking defensively. Zabica. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Opportunity. Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Julian Riosson. Terrific defending to stop them progressing. Ian Madsen. Sancho. And threading it through. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. An encouraging move from Dortmund. The fans want to see a shot. Havertz. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Riosson. Marlin. High quality defending. Bukayo Saka. How can he take them on and beat them? 
Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Possession lost by Arsenal. Sancho. On to Zabica. Could reduce the deficit. Ball is loose. No nonsense clearance. Gabriel Martinelli. It needs an accurate cross. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Borussia Dortmund showing good weight. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. That's a good looking ball. Martinelli, genuine chance, and in at the second time of asking, just what was required. Declan Rice, Martinelli. And that is going to... So the action underway again here. And Borussia Dortmund with an uphill climb after the events of the first 45. Sancho. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Saka the defenders know you can't really allow space like that and the challenge halts them in their tracks Ian Madsen now who can he play it to Ben White Martinelli and having a goal well the keeper did his job didn't really have to work hard in all honesty error by the keeper might give him a chance Brandt Emre Can Hülkrug Zabica Oh, that's a super piece of defending Jesus What to like about that pass Arsenal recovering possession well. Martinelli. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Zule. The ball with Zabica. And that puts them in position. And the ruling is offside here. Good ball over the top. Crossed into the penalty area. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volling home with precision and style. Superbly done. Firing it in. Can they stop it going in? And problem solved for now. Well, Dortmund have it back now. Oh, 
are wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward textbook defending inside the box Malin on to Zabica here's Fulkrug and what a magical save it was corner kick played in it might still be problematic might be a chance to break well they seem to be onto something positive but it faded away Riasson Brandt is it going to be oh that is outrageously spectacular well a flair for the dramatic to say the least we'll be replaying that one over and over again for a long time to come really good build up but no end product Martinelli and Dortmund regaining possession Havertz crossing into the middle no nonsense clearance a foul but no whistle instead advantage with Arsenal Havertz oh great attacking play and the keeper more than equal to it. Well, leaning back a bit, couldn't keep the shot down. And given away by Dortmund. Can he find the right pass? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And just five minutes remaining. Madsen. Jaden Sancho. Great defending here. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just the lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Getting in there to intercept. Phil Krug. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And that is all for...
A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players... Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Porto up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. A strong hand on the ball. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Superbly read and executed. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Chance to play it in. And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game. Pepe. And here's Galeno. Intercepted effortlessly. Havertz. But he could run onto it here. Gabriel Jesus and beyond the last defender offside Galeno Gonzalez and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end a oh, nice ball over the top and Kai Havertz on the scent of something positive well didn't go to plan in the end Bukayo Saka on to Jesus Martin Odegaard safe pair of hands did his job Pepe He's got space. But the danger averted for now. And the ruling is offside here. And Arsenal unable to retain possession. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that, but let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Takes the shot. Huge block. Trailing as they are, they must make good use of this corner. And the danger's still on. Oh, fine stop. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. And Porto regaining possession. And a throw in it's going to be. really high and Kai Havertz top class defending and the attack looks promising and let's give credit to the defending that's a good looking ball Eva Nilsson 
going to have a go here. Oh, he's only got it for the net. What purity of hit. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Gabriel, an effective ball. He could pick out a teammate. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Favouring the short one. Martin Odegaard. Saka delivering it into the box. It comes to nothing in the end. Now plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Pepe. Oh, great vision. Ben White. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Marcinelli. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Now the short corner routine. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Promising pass. And there it is. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Porto doing well to regain possession. He's in with a chance. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Martinelli good idea and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal Gabriel And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Not really the ideal clearance. And the attack fizzling out. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can he put it away? They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Arsenal have given it away. A oh, tremendous vision. Arsenal have it back. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Credit to them for winning back possession. 30 minutes left for play. Firing it in. Determined defending. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Determined defending. White, Ben White, Marcinelli, 
can he get one back? And the keeper there to deal with it. Gabriel Jesus just can't get it past him. He can't hold on to it. Porto have given it away. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Gabriel. Havertz. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Room now out on the wing. Flattered away. The Dragoish unable to hang on to the ball. And it's Gabriel Jesus. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Pepe. Lot to like about that pass. And that's going to result in a goal kick. And Varela with it. He'll have a go here. Body in the way. It's there for him. Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. Ten minutes to go. Ben White. High pressing and good high pressing. Arsenal have given it away. Pepe. with it well the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control Stuart what have you made of this well they've controlled most of the game haven't they their one and two touch passing has been sharp the movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals they just need to keep their well they could finish here Stuart and there we have it opportunity squandered and it might have sealed their fate yeah, what a chance I'm not sure they're going to get many more now Might really be able to trouble them here. What a block! Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. The full time whistle. At
top players on a fitting stage. That's what we're talking about. A match of colossal importance and one that has captured... And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. There to take it away. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. Really important piece of... Can they forge ahead? Always worth keeping a close eye on Luis Alberto, given his prowess. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques. He can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his foot round it, or just chip it over the wall. He'll certainly score goals if given the chance today. Felipe Anderson. Read it well. Gabriel, Declan Rice, Havertz, and it's Gabriel Jesus, and defensive play to be applauded, Felipe Anderson, Immobile now, on attacking possibilities, Nicely cut out. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, nice ball. And hit with ferocity. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And how about the short corner? Speculative effort here. And it's come off the keeper. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Kai Havertz. Can they take advantage? Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Felipe Anderson. Nicolo Rovella. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Felipe Anderson. Well, we know they can pass the ball better than this. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And offside, unfortunately. Marusic. On to Genduzzi. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Martinelli and it's Gabriel Jesus Chiro Immobile and now with Marusic Rovella Anderson, on to Alberto. Oh, a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered.
Felipe Anderson. Rovella. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. They did have the ball, but not anymore. Immobile. Immobile! And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Martin Erdegaard. Bukayo Saka. And that was a very fine read. Great ball over the top. Oh, he saved it well. And played short. Barcinelli. Oh, a tremendous block. Arsenal oh, sort have of won the corner. Now, what can they do with it? He takes aim. It's still alive. Well, the keeper had to think about it for a moment, but too high. And with that, the first... So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Declan Rice. That's a lovely ball. A good and fair challenge. Oh, pressing really high. And the problem not completely solved. Well, threat over for now. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. Jesus. Marcinelli. Well, a lot to like about Chiro Immobile and his first half performance. Hang on, Derek, it's a chance here. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Making sure nothing came of it. Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. Martin Odegaard. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Marusic. On to Genduzzi. Nicolo Rovella. Felipe Anderson. Moving into the advanced position. And defensive play to be applauded. Thirty minutes left for play. Matteo Guendouzi. Arsenal did well to win back possession. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. A really effective shielding under pressure. Pellegrini. Well timed tackle.
a bit sloppy in possession Marusic intelligent threaded pass here offside the decision released it nicely and just wide of the target at the end well good effort but I think the goalkeeper did have it covered Renduzzi good idea and now can he keep calm and the keeper to the rescue well he takes some feet in that's for sure it really is a top class save able to clear the danger at least for now Who can he pick out? Opportunity! And the decision is one of offside here. And tidily played. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. 15 minutes left for play. Rovella. Matteo Guendouzi and given acres of space to attack here oh he's gone for goal well the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was that's a good ball well time is running out to get this winner but the fans certainly believe it's coming just listen to the noise what a fantastic finish we could have here And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Felipe Anderson. Nicolo Rovella. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own Martin Odegaard Jesus oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack Gabriel Jesus Marusic Well, a joy to watch. And that is offside. William Saliba. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing.
the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all. Hello from the Catalan capital and one of the world's great cities, Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. He's in with a chance and it was there for them to take the lead so early on here. Well, they've certainly started brightly and that should have been the opening goal, no doubt about that. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Gundogan. Arsenal finding space on the wing. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Martinelli. And Kai Havertz. Blocked it brilliantly. Can't get the shot through. Will he play it in? And swiftly ending that attack. Good looking ball. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Just cutting off the supply. Gabriel Martinelli. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, what an opportunity! And the first goal, always important. Lewandowski has bagged it. Declan Rice and here's Saliba and that'll be a Barca throw good ball over the top and with that the attack fizzles out Lewandowski Joao Felix what a block Gundogan and fine work from Arsenal to win it back. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Havertz. Oh, nice ball over the top. And a long way out here. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Gundogan threading it through. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Failure to keep the ball by Arsenal. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Trying to open them up. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. One terrific save after another. looking pass ideal for the goalkeeper for any keeper Havertz 
No let up on the pressing front. And he could run onto it here. A real opening now. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Felix. Saka. Arsenal being afforded too much room. And Kai Havertz. Can he put them in front? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Kunde. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Felix. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Martinelli. Now with Havertz. And promising stuff from Arsenal. And let's give credit to the defending. Rafinha. Gundogan in the centre. Just needs to resolve the danger. Barcelona in their quest to take the lead. Might be helped out by this corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Very effective pass. So, the whistle. So, the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Jesus can he give them the advantage well unable to direct it on the target and a goal kick to come that's a lovely ball Gabriel Jesus well he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one Well, Gabriel Jesus had a lot to say for himself in the first 45. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. A oh, good vision there. Crossing into the middle. Not really the ideal clearance. Martinelli. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Failure to keep the ball by Barca. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Gabriel Jesus. William Saliba. Good distribution. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Space and time for Arsenal. That's a good ball. Well read to put an end to that attack. Martinelli. Rice. De Jong. And it's Gabriel Jesus. It opens up for Havertz. There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. It's looking promising. Really good build-up, but no end product. Oh. 
Jesus. And Kai Havertz happy to shoot. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, two goals down, and it would be hard to see them getting back into this one. But that save from Tostegen certainly gives them some hope. And we'll take efforts like that all day long. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ben White. Now well, Barca have the ball once more. Frankie de Jong. And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona on level. Martin Erdogan. It's with Gabriel. Declan Rocks. It's with Erdogan. And he's made headway. And there it is. about that pass by Havertz Havertz and there it breaks down but credit to the defence Rafinha Romeu given away by Barca this could be the equaliser and you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending and support available excellent strike how about this for drama all even once more astonishing really committed himself to the tackle and a throw in now Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They need to get bodies back. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Keen to take it short here. Martin Odegaard. Being threaded by Lewandowski. Good looking move. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Martin Erdegaard. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! Reading it well. Not covering up defensively. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. And having a go! And there's the whistle. All...
The stage is set and the prospect mouth-watering. Two teams up the peak. Hello to you wherever you are. A warm welcome to one of the great football cities, Madrid, and a fine football venue, the Metropolitano. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And coming up, pulsating action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Atletico Madrid against Girona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Saul starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata. And a decent save. Full credit. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Yangel Herrera. Determined defending. Well timed tackle. Trying to open up the defence. Saul's lost the ball. Viktor Zigankov. And moving with the ball is Morata. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Good through ball. Takes aim. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Alex Garcia. Martin. Can they convert? Able to close down the shot. Nicely timed tackle. It's a neat move. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Martinez. Alex Garcia. Herrera. And now Garcia. Arnau Martinez. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Morata. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Viktor Tsigankov. And a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Ivan Martin and support available well only just wide of the post comfortable on the ball moving it forward here Atletico and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment there to take it away Letters man behind here. Morata! Chance maybe. And offside by a very small margin. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. And taking it away. And he's broken free. Oh, he's 
stopped it. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Well, not cleared away completely. And putting his body on the line. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. Read it well, cleared it well. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. A bit sloppy in possession. Viktor Tsigankov. Throw-ins given. Really good interception. Real chance. A goal! Real excitement. A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Oh, splendid skill. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Martinez. Artem Dogbik. Ivan Martin. And that was a very fine read. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And so it is. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. What a magnificent pass. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Worth the try, still alive. Just the clearance that was needed. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Antoine Griezmann did plenty. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Must be. Artem Dovbik. Aleix Garcia. Well read to put an end to that attack. Oh, good strike! And the post getting in the way. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Showing fine vision, showing ambition. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. But it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. So a half an hour remaining. Able to get his body in the way. Can they convert? Still a chance. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. 
fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Arnau Martinez. Dovbik. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ivan Martin. Into the final 20 minutes. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Morata has a go and fired against the crossbar. Well, Atleti can't believe they're not level here, but they are looking dangerous at the moment. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Out of play, and an Atleti throw-in forthcoming. He failed to keep it that time, Saul. Flint. Garcia with it. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And easily cut out in the end. And you need your defender to take charge. I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. Sigankov. Herrera. Atletico have it once again. Promising pass. Save, but still a chance. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. That's a good looking ball. Can he finish them off? Well, he probably should have done, but couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that's a wasteful finish. I just hope he won't be regretting that come the end of the game. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. It is a decent-looking attack here. And still looking to get the shot off. And striking the outside of the post with that effort. And it's going to be a goal kick here. Now well, Molina. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Viktor Tsigankov. Crossed in quickly. And that is that. The referee... It was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today.
It's Derby Day. The city is alive with anticipation and the stadium is packed all the way to Rosette. Thanks for joining us in beautiful Catalonia today. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got La Liga EA Sports action coming right up. What are we going to get from this one, Sue? Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that will be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-André Testegen is in goal. Ronald Araujo plays alongside Andreas Christensen as centre-backs. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frankie de Jong in central midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. And this could be! And it's not far away. It deserved a goal. It did, and he makes it look so easy. And it's not. It's a great technique. Catches it nice, but he just can't quite find the target. a chance and the shot thwarted options available in the middle the approach play looked encouraging but good defending to snuff out any threat and superb technique to get past his man No surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What should we expect today, Sue? Well, he's just a natural finisher, so clinical in front of goal. He just makes it look so easy. And it's going to be so difficult for the defence to keep him quiet today. Barcelona moving it well with real confidence. Having a try. Not going any further for now. Play it goes for a throw in. Good work from Barca to win back possession. Need to get tighter here and stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. Gundawan. Rafinha now. And he's been forced into that. For the lead here. Oh, it's still in there. And it's there. The opening goal on Derby Day. Jubilation in the away end. Andreas Christensen. On to Rafinha. Plenty of open space here. That's a good ball. Well, he's lost the ball and any chance has gone. Oh, good ball in behind. Just needs the composure now. Oh, super challenge. He stopped a certain goal. Barca recovering possession well. That looks a really good ball. And the game will stop. Offside. And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. Ronaldo Raujo. Oriol Romeo. And with that straight pass, there's a change of possession. Yangel Herrera. Good ball. Decent looking attack, this. And somehow he's been denied. Superb work. Frankie Dion. Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? Elkin Salo chance for the equaliser and the keeper has it to avert the danger the keeper has only succeeded in giving the ball away Lewandowski and 
the keeper more than equal to it. The noise levels have just gone up. I think they sense that this is an equaliser come in. It's a big opportunity, this. Well, he had a clear view of that and made the save easily. Untidy in possession there. There's a good amount of freedom here. Looking for the angle. A body in the way. Encouraging signs to the attack, but it hasn't led to anything. João Felix. This is an excellent looking Barcelona transition. And that has gone over the top by quite a distance. Well, the travelling fans will be happy with the score. What about the performance as we move towards half-time? Well, they probably are a little bit lucky to be in the lead. Sometimes it's just about taking your chance when it comes. That's exactly what they've done. Hang on, Sue, they're in. And it's all been sorted out by the goalkeeper. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Is this the equaliser? Still problems for them here. And that's going to be it. The second half kicks off with Barcelona needing to turn this game around. Oriol Romeo, really nicely played. What can they do with this now? A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. Romeo, beautifully weighted ball. Ciao, Felix. No problem at all in keeping that one out. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, he's played well, and the goal will be the standout moment, but I've been so impressed with his work rate, too. I'm sure he'll want to keep that intensity up in the second half. Romeo. João Cancelo. Lyon. Barcelona trying to get things moving. Oh dear, it's a miss. It's an effort he won't want to see again. A little sloppy on the ball there. De Jong. Now João Felix. They've given it away here. Sianko. Now Cancelo. De Jong. He's hit that well. That has been absolutely thundered home. Janko. Yangel Herrera. Victor Janko. Barcelona have possession again. Coming away they go. Delivered into the middle. And the defense ready for what was coming. Garcia. 
Herrera. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. It's a pretty poor error, to be honest. Didn't have to do that. João Félix. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. Jankov. That was well spotted. The attack is over. They could get caught out on the break here. Oh, excellent vision. That's a nice cutback. And he's having a go. And it all looks so good until the end. Yeah, that was a real chance. They broke so quickly and created the opportunity to shoot, but it just lacked that clinical finish. Daily Blint. That's not a bad looking ball. What a chance! Oh, off the post! Well, I was certain we were going to see some late drama there. So unlucky not to take the lead. But you just get the sense it's inevitable if they continue to create chances like this. Ball back with Barcelona now. Promising move this, a goal now would surely be the winner. Still not clear. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. It's on for the shot. And that's a fine save, and it's still level. Oh, that's such an important save at a vital time, and if they get a result here, they'll have the keep of the bank. Having a look, still a chance off the keeper. Well, a bit of a disappointing end to the attack. Well, that was the chance, wasn't it? But praise has to go to the goalkeeper for keeping that out. I just wonder if there's going to be one more opportunity. Could turn out to be a really good ball. No need to worry about that effort for the keeper. If they score from this, they'll surely win the game. This could be it. And it looked as though the chance was on, but they've lost it. That's it. The ref brings...
the tension is palpable and you can understand why two high level sides about to face each other and it's hello from the catalan capital and one of the world's great cities barcelona i'm derek ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst as always on these occasions is stuart robson and what we have coming up for you is action from la liga ea sports it's barcelona and they take on athletic bilbao well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Well, let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. De Marcos plays with Yuri Berchiche in the fullback positions, and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And he read it well defensively. Lewandowski. And now Lewandowski! He got a good palm on it. De Marcos. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Lewandowski. Really good challenge. Williams. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Good idea. It has to be. And the first goal, always important. Lewandowski has bagged it. Well, it's gone out of play under real duress. Joao Cancelo. Barcelona have lost possession. Opportunity in the wide area, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Felix, and the cross goes in. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline, so a throw in here. Now in a more than decent position. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. De Marcos. A good vision there. Joao Cancelo. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Read it magnificently. Tremendous defending. Barcelona have been awarded the throw in. Kunde released it nicely. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Cancelo. On the ball, Joao Felix. A chance to whip it in. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Williams. 
And that attempt had too much height on it. Kunde. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Oh, nice ball over the top. Well, on the cusp of the interval and Barca in front. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be Oh, big chance here! And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! They are the team in charge! De Marcos. And the ball with Yerai. Williams. De Marcos. Played into the centre. Uncomfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Athletic club regaining possession. Rafinha. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, they fancy a short one. De Jong. Can he finish? Oh, tremendous block. A chance then for... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Determined defending. Gundogan. Romeu. And a throw in for Athletic. Yuri Bertice. Bertice. Great block. Bertice. And there's the feed into the box. It comes to nothing in the end. Wasteful from Athletic. Lewandowski. Wasteful again in possession. Well, let's see if something comes of this. He'll have a go here. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Well, there it is. Barcelona have created chance after chance, and I just can't see that changing. They've been excellent. Plenty of support here. Firing it in. Vital intervention. Joao Cancelo. Romeu. That can be so difficult to play against a confident passing team when you're trailing. Kunde. Very quick thinking there. Guruseta. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, we're into the final half hour. Top class defending. Kunde. Good weight on that pass. Will it be? Regain possession. Joao Cancelo. An encouraging move from Barca. It's with Joao Cancelo. Now they stopped them in their tracks. 
Might be a chance to break. Could pull one back here. In it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Joao Felix. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. And into the last 20 minutes. Barca recovering possession well. a weighted pass well even marginally offside is still against the law yeah and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer and he would have been in on goal Yuri Bertice well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Kunde. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Space here for Barcelona. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Sunset. It did look on for them, but not to be. Guruseta. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And he saw the situation developing. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Oh, skipping away. Capcice. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Sunset. Well, it could be on for him here. And they've reduced the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Joao Cancelo. And that is the end of the contest. It was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed.
Two giants of football going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Well, here we go for one of the game's greatest rivalries. I'm Guy Mowbray with Sue Smith alongside me and we are bursting with excitement to be commentating on another El Clasico, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. We absolutely are. You can hear how much it means to the fans. The noise is deafening in here. And you think Barcelona are maybe favourites being at home, but anything can happen in a derby. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen is in goal. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Ronald Araujo in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. This is the Real Madrid starting lineup. Andre Lunin is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Aurelien Schuem. Well, that hasn't taken long. In front already. The action underway once more. And the onus is on Real to find a response. Nicely weighted crossfield ball. A really good interception to take the ball. Bellingham. Chance for the equaliser. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. Chuamani. Can he finish? And ready for it coming his way. Corner kick played in. It might still happen. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Lewandowski. Put into the middle. Well, he's kept that out nicely. And he's got behind it. Oh, superb technique. But the woodwork spoiling the party. Oh, it's so difficult to get that on target. He's done fantastically well. He can count himself on lucky there. Rodrigo and superb technique to get past his man over them all to the back post and there's a keeper in command of his area with a clean catch that's a really good pick out Rafinha well ambitious effort and that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? Still a chance off the keeper. De Jong. Crucial defending. It's a corner and possibly the chance to go further in front. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Mendy. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Rodrigo. And it's opened up for him. Off the crossbar. Well, nothing doing for them in the end. Gross. Mendy. Strong play to keep possession. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. We'll have a go here. Cross the dead ball line for a Real Madrid corner. Or maybe he was distracted, but that's a miss. Well, it's nowhere near in the end, but praise has to go to how well they defend this. Just don't give him time to set himself. De Jong. Now João Felix. Real Madrid come away with it. 
Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? Rudiger. Now, Fernandez. Fell on Mendy. Shuamani. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Real moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And that's a shame for them. Nothing doing. João Cancelo. That's a pretty poor error, to be honest. Didn't have to do that. Oh, that's been won really smartly. No danger there. That's easy for the goalkeeper. Vinicius Junior. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Lewandowski. And it's quickly stopped. Good work to beat the marker. What a chance. Must score. With the keeper nowhere to be seen. They've been punished. Shocking defending. Federico Valverde in the right position to cut out the pass. Bunde. Moving in field here. And on that whistle. Back in business for the second half then, with Real needing to fare a whole lot better. A really good interception to take the ball. Lovely ball, could be a chance. And away, they've got it clear. Federico Valverde. Beautifully weighted ball. And that's been nicely won by the defence. Well, we've seen a top player at the top of his game up to now. It's been a performance of the highest quality. Well, he's been outstanding, hasn't he? He's taken his goals so well, but it's everything about his play that's quality. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets his hat-trick in the second half. João Cancelo. That's not a bad-looking ball. Real have it back now. Rafinha. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Kunde. Now Cancelo. De Jong. Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. Elon Mendy. Tony Kroos. Vinicius Junior. Oh, it's a goal! And it was really nicely finished. And the game kicks off again with the score 3-1. João Cancelo. On to Christensen. Rafinha. On to Koundé. Rafinha. Rafinha. Oh, a great chance. Still not away here. Well, searching for his... Oh, it's a penalty. This for 4-1. Well, if there were any nerves, they didn't show. A well-taken penalty. Been 
cut out. There's the turnover. Promising looking ball. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? They need to be better on the ball than that. Rodrigo. Allowed to go a long way with this. He takes it on. Oh, what a really good save that was. Played into the box. The danger averted, but it will be another corner. And it's a short one. Goes for goal! But it's a tame try. Or at least that's how the goalkeeper's made it appear. Romeo. Real Madrid regaining possession. Kroos. Rodrigo. Decent chance. Oh, really good goalkeeping there. De Jong. In the right position to cut out the pass. Tony Kroos. Now Cancelo. Working hard to win it back there. De Jong. João Cancelo. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? Rodrigo. Now Bellingham. Good work to recover possession. Jules Koundé. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Well, a bit of a clumsy challenge and the ref blows for a free kick. Bellingham. De Jong. On to Lewandowski. João Felix. De Jong now. And that's pretty straightforward for the keeper. Vinicius Junior. Tony Kroos. On to Bellingham. Vinicius Junior. And that has stopped any potential danger. João Felix. Lewandowski from a long way out. Well, that brings the match to a. This was certainly a bad day at the office. So poor at the back. They just looked so nervy, and when they went forward, it was really slow and pedestrian. They'll be really disappointed after that.
two sides from very different regions of Spain about to lock horns and both highly capable. It's Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid. Well, it's a meeting of two teams who you expect to be there or thereabouts when the honours are handed out. Barcelona against Atletico, and it's a real privilege to be broadcasting this game here in Catalonia. I'm Derek Ray, and with me to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this should be a good one. It certainly should. The atmosphere is crackling. Two very good teams, two managers that like to play different styles of football. I think this is going to be a top-class game. Lewandowski, magnificent defending. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Marcos Llorente starts alongside Koke in central midfield. So! And a goal! 1 0, and what a fast start they've made to this game! Kunde. It's with Gundogan. Jules Kunde on the ball. Lewandowski now. Oh, great vision. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Oriol Romeu. It's with Gundogan. That's a lovely ball. Fine cross into the middle. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. <laughs> Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Araujo. It's with Gundogan. Nice looking pass. Not the most confident clearance. No damage done. Riesman. Excellent defending. Romeu. It's with Joao Cancelo. Joao Felix. Looking for the right moment for that final pass. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Promising move from Barcelona, but nothing comes of it. Morata, and a fine stop. Whipped in by Griezmann. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Distributing it well. Koke. Promising pass. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Kunde. Araujo De Jong Oriol Romeu and Barca have it back Gundogan Good tackle. Not really 
with a high percentage option to try your luck from there. Well, his teammates aren't particularly happy. He was never going to score from there. And given away by Atletico. Rafinha. A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans! Marcos Llorente could be dangerous. Morata. Griezmann. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Gundogan. Joao Cancelo. Here's Christensen. Joao Felix. Good distribution. Well, to take it away. Lewandowski. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Christensen. And so it is. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Saul trying his luck but it's great when you can rely on your keeper Oriol Romeu. Lewandowski now. And nicely over the top. Well, the attack just lost its momentum and the keeper will collect. A no mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes. He scored a good goal, was a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball. I'm sure he'll be the key player in the second half. Now plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Morata. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. Lewandowski. Given away by Ilkay Gundogan. Oriol Romeu. De Jong. Joao Felix using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position wonderful chance Fantastic stop. Frankie de Jong. It's with Joao Cancelo. Koke's lost the ball. That's very effective use of advantage in favour of Atletico. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Christensen. Will he play it in? Interception to snuff out the danger. 
Oh, that's a really good pass. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And into the last 20 minutes. Kunde. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Oh, what a top-notch pass. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. Frankie de Jong. And defensive play to be applauded. He's in with a chance. Must be. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And beyond the last defender, offside. They've regained possession. Oriol Romeu. Griezmann. Gundogan. And intercepted it. Just listen to the noise in here. These Barca fans are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. An effective ball. Lewandowski. Hands away by the keeper. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. And a shot from miles out. Well, unfortunately, not very convincing at all with that effort. Well, he made a mess of that. Just didn't make a good connection, did he? And the pass deftly cut out. Lewandowski. Beautiful pass. De Jong. Smuggled away. And so into the final five minutes. Clever defensive play, Christensen. Felix. Kunde. It's with Gundogan. An effective challenge. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And that is that, the final whistle. It was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today.
top players on a fitting stage. That's what we're talking about. A match of colossal importance and one that has captured the imagination. Excitement and anticipation ahead of kickoff time. Here we are at the Estadio de Montelivi. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It is Girona against Atletico Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's the Girona starting 11. Well, in this 4-5-1, they've only got one up front, but there are two or three of the midfield players who love to break forward. And fired against the crossbar! Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. It might be on for them. Could take the lead. And still an opportunity. And able to close down the shots. Atletico have given it away. Martinez. Well, the fans are happy with what they're seeing at the moment. They're urging their team on here. It should be. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Action underway once more. Will there be a swift reply from Atletico following this setback? Can he convert? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Played in by Griezmann. And possession lost, intercepted. Ivan Martin. Saul's lost the ball. Viktor Tsigankov. Yangel Herrera. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Wasted possession again. That's a good pass. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Morata. And he's in an offside position. Ivan Martin. Herrera. Well read to ease the pressure. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Oh, he's through here. And they've done it. A goal for Atletico, who now are level. Flint. Artem Dogbeek. And now Garcia. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Sigankov. 
Ivan Martin. Morata. Dovbik. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? A well, fine reading of the situation. Not smooth in possession. Saul. Viktor Tsigankov moving the ball nicely but can they forge ahead oh he looks threatening is it going to be and there is the goal to re-establish their advantage no not the best challenge well defending always has to be a team effort good piece of covering Arnau Martinez and the referees <laughs> underway in the second half and Atletico trailing let's see if they can turn this round Viktor Tsigankov and an astute piece of defending Yangel Herrera. Can they hit on the break? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. As a go! It's still alive! And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Martin. Can he put it away? And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. He's still trying to get forward. Griezmann. No well, disappointing end to the move. Great effort to keep that one in play. Takes the shot. And the shot just over the top. That is how to apply the pressure. And he did well to cut it out. Sigankov. And now Garcia. Martinez well they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing Arnau Martinez well they stopped them in their tracks so a half an hour remaining well giving the ball away and he's through here oh that's top notch goalkeeping you've got to say Yangel Herrera just the challenge that was required a really good pass and the danger's still on and the attack fizzling out. Promising sequence. What a brilliant pass. Well, he moved into an illegal position. Well, he had the vision to pick out the through ball, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. Griezmann. 
pivotal moment defensively. Twenty minutes remaining. Arnau Martinez. It should be. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time. The midfielder completely dominated the game. And the front player's movement has been excellent. Oh, great attacking play. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. So the action continues. Can Atletico push for a leveller here? Dovbik. Ivan Martin. Well, attacking possibilities. A good vision there. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. He failed to keep it that time, Saul. This could be it! And still danger here. Oh, he's blocked it! Morata's pass, but given away. Yangel Herrera. Good looking sequence this. Every pass hitting its target. Opportunity it is. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Can he play it in? Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And Atletico get the advantage from the referee. But he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. Good through ball. And a corner for Atletico. Morata. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Garcia. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Wants to attack from the wide areas. Save, but still a chance. And there it is, the final whistle. Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. Hello from Catalonia. This is the scene here at this intimate venue, the Estadio de Montelivi.
I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson and on the menu for you today live action from La Liga EA Sports it is Girona facing Barcelona well thanks Derek the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll be and a goal the opener in the derby from Barcelona and that has silenced the majority in here well the attack grinds to a halt offside disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that Garcia oh that's a super piece of defending Gundogan It is a decent looking attack here, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Yangel Herrera. Joao Felix. And an astute piece of defending. He's in with a chance. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Given away by Barcelona. He has teammates around him. To give them the advantage. A smart stop here. Beautiful pass. Joao Felix. So a deflection, and it will be a throw in. Oriol Romeu. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. De Jong. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Ivan Martin. They've regained possession. Lewandowski well this looks really productive what can they do from this position but nothing comes of it Joao Cancelo Lewandowski he's blocked it an effective challenge Joao Felix. Oh, great vision. Veering in field here. Well, he's lost the ball. And no problems at all for the keeper. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Superb looking pass. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Romeu, good distribution. Gundogan, Kunde, chance to put them in front, but he can't keep that effort on target, and a goal kick it'll be. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Oh, 
Yangel Herrera. What a magnificent pass. Is it going to be? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. That's a good ball. Great opportunity. And there it is. Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. Sigankov. Artem Dogbik. And he read it well defensively. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. Trying his luck. Spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. He'll try his luck here. And so that brick. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And the pass up there towards Gundogan. Rafinha. Really have to get it spot on to finish from there. And it was miles off target. Well, maybe not the right choice there. That's a poor effort. And running it back. Sigankov. He could pick out a teammate. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Can they hit on the break? Kunde. Oh, good looking run. Gundogan. No way through. Gundogan. Kunde. And whipped into the box. Sound piece of defending. And the ball back with Barcelona here. We're getting the ball forward. Romeu. It's with Joao Cancelo. That's a good looking ball. Is it going to be? And fine goalkeeping. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Top class defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And Barcelona winning the ball back. Promising attack, this. Eric Garcia. And Blint. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Joao Felix De Jong plenty of support here well it came to nothing in the end good vision can he get onto this now the task is to remain focused and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping 
to produce. They've delivered the goal. Ronald Araujo. Christensen. It's with Joao Cancelo. Released it nicely. And Lewandowski waiting. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Running with the ball confidently. Well, not a great ball played in. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Herrera. Now will the cross work out for them? And they deal with the threat this time. Gundogan. Now can they counter clinically? Distributing it well. Well, it looks so promising, but it all comes to nothing. Yangel Herrera. Well, there to intercept. Joao Cancelo Oriol Romeu Oh, great vision Lewandowski And support available But quick thinking defensively Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Might be a chance here. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Martin Artem Dovbik nicely timed tackle if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on and Barcelona being afforded too much space has eyes for goal stopped a certain goal and the referee brings this match to a they were certainly off the pace today beaten to the board in too many key areas they need to refocus now and perform better next time out Well, we have what's surely going to be a thrilling game in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The anticipation is palpable. Thank you for joining us here at the San Marmes in the fiercely proud city of Bilbao. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And we've got La Liga EA Sports action coming right up. It's Athletic Bilbao and they take on Barcelona. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. A really good interception to take the ball. 
Here's the athletic Bilbao team sheet. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are... Oh, they could be in here soon. Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising-looking attack. Sanchez. Vesca. Ball back with Barcelona now. Could turn out to be a really good ball. A free kick awarded here. The refs viewed that as a foul. Over them all to the back post. Only half the job done there. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Unsurprising who we've singled out as our player to watch. What should we expect today, Sue? Yeah, he's an all-round player, but it's his ability on crossing the ball that stands out. The way he can whip it in with so much pace and accuracy, it means that forwards only need to get a touch on it, and it's a goal. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. Here it comes. Well, comfortably off target in the end. That will be a goal kick. Yeah, I think you have to credit the defender there. Just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment. Frankie Dion onto João Felix. João Cancelo. Space to attack here for Barca. Lewandowski. Barcelona with the ball again. João Felix. Oh, good defending just when it was looking threatening. Sanchez. Di Marcos. And that's that. The flag's up. Lovely ball. Could be a chance. Asking quite a lot to score from there. And that's missed by quite a bit. Oh, no. What's he doing there? That's an opportunity wasted. It's got to be a perfect shot to beat the goalkeeper. And that wasn't. Played through nicely. And the goalkeeper has that and keeps it in his grasp. Sanchez. Barcelona have possession again. Xiao Felix. Decent chance. And against the post. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Good vision. Found nicely and in. And the ball is still alive. I still don't know how he's kept that out, Guy. But if they keep conceding chances like that, you feel it's only a matter of time. And that's a throw in. They'll have to win the ball all over again. And now the plate goes for a throw in. Sanchez. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. Lewandowski. And it's quickly stopped. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Barcelona pushing forward with options available. Frankie Dion. A decent move looked to be building, but that's it for now. And the whistle goes. Free kick awarded. Oh, he didn't get that right. There could be punishment coming. Huge block, but still danger. Still all square. Can they make this pressure count? Nicely played. Saw the threat and stopped it.
Yuri Bashiche. Barca recovering possession well. Christensen. Yuri Bashiche. Good work from Barca to win back possession. Dion. Now Lewandowski. Good ball in behind. It's there. That changes things. A goal for 1 0. And the pass has not found its target. Williams. Oh, good strike! Oh, yes! A cleaner strike as you'll ever see. What a goal! So away we go then for the second half. Lost it now. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Decent chance, this. And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. Just take a look at the stats. They'll certainly be happy with the build-up play and the chances that they're creating. But it's about being clinical in front of goal now and making those opportunities count. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, it was a really solid performance, wasn't it? A lot of what was good about their play went through him, and I'm sure he'll be hoping for a similar impact in the second half. And that's been seen as a foul. Free kick. Well, he's made the save look easy, but it wasn't a bad effort. Williams looking to create an angle what a chance here oh fantastic save well showing his class there he closes the angle down makes himself big it's a really good stop well it might have been a chance but it's come to nothing with that Gundogan now Araujo it's sloppy in possession. Promising looking attack, this. Ronaldo Araujo. Ilkay Gundogan. On to Koundé. Koundé. Sanchez. Bechiche, good cross into the middle. And well, that's how to clear it. Ilkay Gundogan. On to Rafinha. Frankie Dion. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? And the defence tidies up nicely. Some good work to win it there. Now for the finish. Oh, top pass from the goalkeeper. Oh, it's a great save. Certainly showed his class there and prevented an almost certain goal. Kept out, but for how long? A goal that gives them the advantage. That makes it 2-1, and away we go again. Koundé. Ilkay Gundogan. Read the pass well, and cuts it out. 
They're being afforded too much space here. Genuine chance. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Jao Cancelo. Christensen. Oh, good ball in behind. The ball is lost, and the chance has gone too. Plenty of space to attack now. In behind, can he finish? And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Rafinha. A lovely ball. There might be something building now. Rafinha. And the attack is over. Really good defending. That's not a bad looking ball. And away from danger it goes. A throw in now. Space now to get a crossover. And that's a really good save. Tipped over the bar. Across the dead ball line for a corner. And that's gone straight behind. It's a complete waste. Christensen. Jao Cancelo. Onto Jao Cancelo. Well, that was not where the pass was intended to go. Good work to beat the marker. Having a try. And that's not a bad save at all. Played into the box. And away from danger it goes. Yuri Bashiche. Well, plenty of power on the effort, but just wide. Goal kick it is. Kunde. Christensen. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Andreas Christensen. De Jong now. There is the final whistle. They deserved to win the game, didn't they? They played some really nice stuff. I thought they dominated the midfield area and the work rate was excellent. It's a great result, that. A game that speaks for itself in so many ways. Two terrific teams prepared to give it everything in their quest for glory. It's the kind of match you cannot afford to take your eyes. A warm welcome to the Bernabeu, where we're all set for another El Clasico. I'm Guy Mowbray with Sue Smith alongside me for commentary on Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Arguably the most famous and biggest rivalry in the world. Oh, it absolutely is, and both sets of players are going to be desperate to win this. Real Madrid do have the better record overall, but I'm not going to predict the winner here, Guy. It's so close to call. This is the Real Madrid starting lineup. 
Andre Lunin is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Tony Kroos plays alongside Aurelien Schuermeni in midfield. And they're playing with two strikers in attack. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Marc-André Testegen is in goal. Ronald Araujo plays alongside Andreas Christensen as centre-backs. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in central midfield. And leading the line is Robert Lewandowski. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here? And there won't be any rebounds there. Jules Koundé. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Sent into the middle. Oh, yes! An incredible strike. That's got everything you'd ever want to see from a goal. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Antonio Rudiger. Vasquez. the right position to cut out the pass Rodrigo but that results in the flag going up for offside it's careless this he had other options he should have held on to it a bit longer just give your teammate a bit more time Rafinha and they've got it back now Valverde. Tony Kroos. Working hard to win it back then. Vinicius Junior. Oh, that's superb technique to get past. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. Mendy. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. João Cancelo. Could turn out to be a really good ball. And superb technique to get past his man. What a chance! And they've scored again! That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Jansen Salo. De Jong. On to Jansen Salo. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Vinicius Junior. And he's being urged to shoot. Now it'll be a Real Madrid corner. They decide against putting it in. And he's got behind it! Seemed to have hit that really nicely, but just wide of the goal. As the stats show, you just wonder how many this could be because the way that they go forward, it's great to watch. So much creativity and the defence just can't cope with them. Surely the manager will make a change soon. Rafinha. Barca with width here. Lewandowski, and the ball has been lost. Rodrigo, out of play, throw in to come. Vasquez, Gross, great chance here. Tony Kroos Rodrigo real opportunity what a stop razor sharp oh, talk about reactions how good were his then it's such close range that's a brilliant save 
And that one is got away. Chouamani. Nicely sets it up. Vinicius Jr. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. They decide against putting it into the box. That's a lovely cut inside. Goes for goal. Fell on Mendy. Bellingham. And able to come away with the ball. Lucas Vasquez. On to Valverde. And with that, the first... Away we go then for the second half, with Barcelona needing to be much, much better from here on in. Good vision to switch the play. Good work from Real Madrid to win the ball back. Frankie de Jong. On to Bellingham. Rodrigo. Well, he really wound that up, but he was very close to scoring. He's so unlucky not to score. I didn't think he'd shoot from there, but nearly got his reward. Rafinha. Gundogan. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. This is an excellent looking Barcelona transition. Lovely ball, now what can they do with it? Good pressure this, high up the pitch. Trying to spark the attack further into life here. Good work to recover possession. We've seen an eye-catching performance from Jude Bellingham to this point. A lot of eye-catching things about his oh, this game. this is a great opportunity! And they're three in front now! What a performance this has been so far! Koundé. On for Christensen. De Jong now. Now Felix. Romeo. Decent delivery. Can he finish? And they've scored! And all the noise is coming from the away end. Vasquez. This is a lovely position to be in, keeping the ball and the lead. Now Cancelo. Played over to the back post. It's broken down and it had looked promising. Vinicius Junior. A little careless there as the ball changes hands. And he's beaten his man here. Oh, a great chance. And it's in. And it really is happening for them now. They're right back in the contest. We're underway once again, and Barcelona are right back into the contest. Vinicius Junior. And denied by a top draw tackle. Using the space on the opposite flank. Rafinha. 
could get it over now flag up here, offside not so much given away as cleverly won Valverde now Bellingham Rodrigo and the attack is over really good defending weighted beautifully acres of space here goes for goal a decent try not far away oh that's really unlucky it was close and if they keep working hard to create chances i'm sure he'll put the next one away Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. Vinicius Junior. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Ronaldo Raujo. On to Jao Cancelo. De Jong. Breaking at pace. This could be dangerous. Lewandowski, it's a super save to preserve their lead. That is a top save and it's such a crucial part of the game. I can't see them getting another chance as good as that one. Well, danger averted, but it will be another corner. De Jong. Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Vinicius Junior. Crowd encouraging him to take it on. It's in! And in all likelihood, that should be the game. So little time left for a response now. Ronaldo Raujo. On to João Felix. Now Cancelo. Beautifully weighted ball. And the defence ready for what was coming. And superb technique to get past his man. That's excellent work to come and take the ball away. That's not a bad looking ball. There we are, full time here, and it's Real Madrid who will go home happy having. It was fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part. And going forward, there was some real nice, incisive play, too. It was a good result. Two clubs from very different traditions with different interpretations of how the game should be played. This will be fascinating. It's always a great privilege to be here in the Spanish capital, Madrid, and especially so when Atletico take on Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray, and my co-commentator... Oh, he's through here! And a goal right off the bat! No wonder they're jumping for joy! Joao Cancelo... A real difficulty keeping the ball. It's an excellent looking attack, courtesy of Griezmann here. Oh, cleared off the line. 
Alert defending. Gundogan. Barcelona have lost possession. Morata. Promising pass. Gundogan. Rafinha. De Jong. A routine save. Molina. And given away by Atletico. Griezmann from long range. Oh, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Romeu. Jules Kunde on the ball. Decent position for Atletico to find themselves in. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Joao Felix. Atletico have given it away. De Jong. defenders in the wide positions and Atletico know it a fine reading of the situation Joao Felix good ball over the top Atletico unable to retain possession And Barca have it back. Good weight on that pass. And Atletico get the advantage from the referee. Oh, nice ball. He's got the score! Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Distributing it well. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Christensen. And he read it well. Llorente. Oh, it might be. And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. <laughs> Romeo. And the ball with Christensen. Felix. Can he take advantage? Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. Morata. Good idea. Okay. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Christensen. Now with De Jong. A good vision there. Well, nothing comes of it. On the cusp of the interval and Atletico in front. How about your overall take? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch. And that's been key to them leading at the moment. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Morata, really fine piece of defending play to break it up.
Oriol Romeu. It's with Joao Cancelo. And good work from Atletico to win the ball back. That's a lovely ball. A deft clearance. Joao Felix. Felix. In a dangerous position. Lewandowski. Good looking move. Terrific block there. Well, can Barcelona demonstrate their corner kick taking prowess? And short it is. And it's come off the keeper. That is that. And the ball is moving again. The onus is on Barcelona to turn this game on its head. Romeu. It's with Joao Cancelo. De Jong. Promising move from Barcelona. And passing it well. And he might be through here. And quick thinking defensively. Gundogan. Here's Rafinha. Kunde. And he clears the danger. And giving the ball away. And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona on level. Shifting through the gears, Alvaro Morata. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. The cross is on. Can they forge ahead? And a fine stop. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Are there to intercept? Romeu, Joao Cancelo, Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position, Romeu, now moving the ball impressively here, it comes to nothing in the end, well we have 30 minutes to go, just the challenge that was required, Gundogan chance to play it in he's got to have a go here and foiled only by the crossbar and an effective clearance well I have to say Barcelona are so unlucky not to be leading now they look a real threat at the moment well they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green perhaps they can create another chance now now can they hit them on the counter A struggle for Atletico to keep the ball. Kunde. Atletico have it back. Twenty minutes to go. Lewandowski. Given away by Barcelona. And that is offside. Joao Cancelo. De Jong. Feeding it through. Real defensive resilience. Can't get the shot through. Well, what a finish we've got here. Can Atletico get this winning goal? Their fans certainly think so. Just listen to them.
able to skip past his man well, on the final analysis it was good defending ball played nicely Kunde. well fine play and maybe it'll set something up and a long way out Felix Joao Cancelo now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card just cutting off the supply Rafinha oh nice ball Barcelona on the attack in the closing moments still level here Griezmann and he read it well defensively that's useful play Romeo must take the lead here dear oh dear he squandered it well that should have been the winner with so little time left he can't believe he didn't score there Samuel Lino and Witzel with it Savic it's with Hermoso Saul's lost the ball. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Kunde. Lewandowski is in position at the far post. Well, they can keep possession now.